Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to remove special characters from data in SSIS. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to remove special characters in data using SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location I got an emails.csv file. So let me show you the file, what kind of data it contains. So it contains like person's ID, first name, last name, email and gender. And if you notice in the first row, in the first name we got a hash here. In the second row, in the last name we got a dollar sign here. In the third row, in the email we got the percentage sign here. Yeah, that's kind of data. And maybe in the fourth row we can add some other, like maybe a star here. So there are some special characters, those are present in the data. And now let me just try to import this data into a SQL Server table, email table, which is right now empty. So let me just go ahead and uh, create a SSIS package for it. So we will be using the data flow task to import the data because it's a CSV file. So we will be using the flat file source. So let me just browse the file. I can call the connection manager as flat file and then I can just simply browse the file. File type is CSV, so I will select CSV from here, emails.csv, click open. You can click on preview, so data seems good here, I can click OK, OK. Now let me just use OLDB destination to insert the data into a SQL Server table. Click new to create new connection, I already have a connection to the work database, so I can select this connection, click OK. From data access mode, I will select table and we fast load because it does the bulk insert. Now we can select the table from here. So our table name is email. Now I can click on mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns. Now I can click OK. So my basic SSIS package is ready and I can click on start to load the data from a CSV file to the SQL Server table. So if you see the data right now, so we got some hash here, dollar here, percentage sign here and star here. There are some special characters that I want to remove before loading the data into the SQL Server table. So I want to add some transformation which can actually remove all these kind of special characters. And if you notice that uh, we got at the rate and dot here. So I don't want to remove the at the rate because if I will remove the at the rate from this particular value, then it won't make sense. And I also don't want to remove the dot and sometimes there can be some dashes or underscore in the email. So, so I want to remove those characters as well. So what I want to keep is I want everything from A to Z and then capital A to capital Z, 0 to 9. I want these characters and then I want dash, I want underscore, I want a dot and then I want the at the rate as well. So I want only these characters and I want to remove other than these characters. Okay. So for example, percentage sign can be removed, dollar can be removed, hash can be removed and any other character can be removed which doesn't lies between these characters. So let's see how we can do that. So let me just truncate the table for now. So my table is empty as of now. And now I can go back to the SSIS package. I can stop the execution of the package and then in between, I will use an script component here. I can drag and drop the script component into the data flow task and we will be using the script component as transformation. So this is the default option which is selected. So I can click OK. Now I can connect the flat file source with the script component. And now I can click on edit. Now we need to click on input columns to get the access of the these columns in the script component. So I will select all these columns, first name, last name, email and gender. And then under users type, we will select read write because we want to override the existing values in these columns. If you don't want to override, then you can use simply use read only, but I am interested in overwriting the values, removing the special characters and then replacing the existing values. Now I can go back to the script and I can click on edit script. So this will open an script editor where you can write your C sharp code. All right, so the script editor window has been opened up and if you scroll down, so there is an option here that to add your code here, process input row. So here you need to add your code. Whatever code you will write here, that code will be executed on each row that will be passed through from source to destination. So I got a method that I will be using here to remove the special character. So I can just paste the method here. And it is using regex. So if you just hover your mouse on regex and click on show potential fixes. So you need to add this reference here. Now this seems good. 
so if you look at this particular code the replace function then it is allowing the characters from small a to z capital a to z 0 to 9 underscore dot and I want add the rate as well and then I want dash as well so I want these characters to be kept and other than these characters should be removed from the data so this is my function to remove the special characters now how I can use this function so to access a particular column what you need to write row dot for example first name so this is how you can access the column in, in this particular script component so I want to override the values inside row dot first name from and I will use the function here remove special characters function so I will remove the special characters from row dot first name all right and then I can end the line with a semicolon so this is how you can remove the special characters from a particular column so you need to do this particular thing for all the columns that I have so first name then last name and then I need to, to do this for email so I think this is quite simple and I will share this code with you so maybe you can use it in your SSIS package if you want so I will share the CSV file SQL table script and this code as well and the last column is gender yeah so I think we had only four columns first name last name email and gender and now I can click on exit and click ok and now I can connect the script component with the OLEDB destination and now I can execute my exercise package again so this time it should remove all the special characters from the data and now I can go back to the SSMS and let me just try to rerun the select query here so if you see hash has been removed from the first name dollar has been removed from the last name and uh, from third line a percentage has been removed and from fourth line a star has been removed so this is how we can remove the special characters from data and this is one of the fast method that you can replace everything in the script component as well in the transformation and in case if you do the update later so update queries can be costly it takes some time to run so it's better that you replace the special characters on the fly so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much